Hey guys, welcome back to the shed. Today I'm going to be showing you how to check your spark plug to make sure your engine's running properly. First of all, it feels like, like I'm missing something. That's it. Cup of tea. Cheers. Let's get to it. Okie dokie, first things first, we need to sort out what tools we need. And they're pretty simple. They're going to be a ratchet and a spark plug spanner. These spark plug spanners come in different sizes, so make sure it's the right millimetre for your spark plug. You'll know it's a spark plug socket because it'll have SP on the side or it'll have a rubber grommet in there to protect the connection at the end here. If you're running a brand new machine, your manufacturer's probably going to tell you to check your spark plug about the 10 hour mark. After that, it's good to check it semi-regularly to make sure that your engine is running properly. Checking your spark plug is a true indicator of how your engine is running, be it rich, be it lean. All running perfectly, it's quick and easy to do and it's worthwhile just whipping out your spark plug just to avoid any potential engine damage that might occur. Before you even pull a spark plug, there's a few things that point to a potential issue with your spark plug. Such as trouble starting, rough idle, high fuel consumption, backfires and probably lack of acceleration. So if you're getting any of those issues, chances are it's this little guy up here. Could be other things, but check this first because it's nice and easy to do. Also, don't be stupid, let your engine cool down before you start messing around with your spark plug because you're probably going to burn yourself otherwise. This engine's nice and cold, it's been out of its frame a little while, it's ready to be renovated. So let's take our spanner and remove our spark plug. First things first, pull this cap straight off and that reveals your spark plug. Take your spanner and socket, whip it on like so and to the left, undo that like so. Mine came out fairly easy because I've already pre-loosened this. Chances are yours are only nipped in there, so don't go cramming it because you'll probably cause damage to the threads as well. Let's remove that from the top here and check to see what we've got. What we're looking for is the electro sleeve, which is not the little tiny nib bit in there, which is called your electrode. It's the outer sheath of that to be a cup of tea colour. And for those of you out there who want to know what that looks like, and we've got one right here. So that does not match that. So basically, this engine is running rich. When you pull your spark plug, there's a few different states it could be in. Let's go through them now so you know what that could possibly be. If the top of your spark plug is black and dusty, that means your engine is running too rich. Which is caused by too much fuel to air, which can be fixed by adjusting your carburetor settings. Now I'm not going to cover that in this video, but I will link that down in the description. Next up, if the end of your spark plug is black and wet, that is also an indication that your engine is running too rich, which could be caused by too much oil to fuel. So when you pre-mix your fuel, you're probably putting in a little bit too much oil, but your manufacturer's booklet should tell you how much oil you need to mix with your fuel. Other things that could cause this are bad ignition, or potentially the insulator is cracked on your spark plug, causing a short between the electrode and this thread, instead of the arm that reaches out over the top of the electrode. In this instance, just replace your spark plug, run the engine for a bit after you've done that, and then recheck your spark plug to make sure you've fixed the issue. If you pull your spark plug and it's white and blistered, that means that your engine is running lean. That's a lot more dangerous than running rich, simply because your engine's getting hotter, and there's a chance that you could seize your engine as well, which is an expensive rebuild. And trust me, you don't want to go season your engine. This, once again, can be caused by a few things. It could be caused by too much fuel to oil in your mixture, so that's quite easy to adjust. Once again, refer back to your manufacturer's handbook. It could be down to bad cooling, so for example, if you were running your engine and not actually flying, so there's no airflow going through it, that could be running a lot hotter. Or less likely is you've got an over advanced ignition, which I'm not going to go into too much detail about, but essentially is your spark plug igniting the fuel in your chamber before your piston reaches its topmost point, before being forced back down, which creates the power of the engine. And finally, if you pull your spark plug out and it is a cup of tea colour, but it's crusty, Throw that spark plug away. That is no good to you whatsoever anymore. Get it replaced. Your engine will run a lot nicer and a lot smoother once that's put back in. And obviously, if you pull your spark plug out and it looks like this lovely brew, then it's good to go. Whip it back in and you should be fine. Just keep an eye on your spark plug as it's a true indicator of your engine's health. 
If your spark plug is found like this one and you want to test your engine to make sure it's definitely running rich or lean, then you can clean these up. It's not advisable, but all you'll need to do is use a bit of carb cleaner, spray that in there, and then use a wire brush just to clean up your electrode. That way, you're gonna get a much cleaner spark between the arm and the electrode in your spark plug. However, these parts are so cheap, you may as well just replace it anyway. And keep a bunch of spares of these with you as well. They're probably about a fiver. They're literally a throwaway item. Once they're done, chuck them away. When it comes to refitting your spark plug, Always check your owner's manual to make sure that you set your torque spanner back to the correct torque setting for your spark plug. If, for whatever reason, you haven't got your manual to hand when you're doing this, or you don't have your torque wrench, a rule of thumb is to just nip the spark plug and don't over tighten it because you will damage the threads. They have a little crush washer on them, so they should hold themselves in place. And just Nip that like so. Do not over tighten. And to finish up, return your spark plug cap back to the spark plug and you're done. Thanks for watching this video guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and hopefully it's helped some of you out there who have needed to check your spark plug. If you want to see more of our paramotor adventures, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell icon next to it as well. That way YouTube's going to notify you of when I release a video. Right then. Time for a cup of tea. See you up in the air. <laughs> Definitely covered. Oh, you can also gap your spark plugs. When you buy them from factory, they should come pre gap for the most popular application. Uh, but check your owner's manual for the gapping of that. I'll, I'll make another video. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.